Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I'm going to be playing another one versus one, this time on two lakes and I'm going to be using the 35th Air Assault Brigade, one of the new divisions available in the upcoming LAN update. I'm going to be playing against Protoss so again a big thanks to him for playing against me and uh, make sure to check him out at twitch.tv slash sdleague. Uh, he's going to be using the second Panzer Grenadier division in this case and uh, we're going to be seeing how these Desant units do against them. So let's have a quick look at what we got going down here. So at the start I am placing down a lot of these 85mm AT guns. I was hoping to maybe catch out some of his light armoured vehicles with those, maybe kill off like Marders and stuff. That would be ideal. Uh, then I've got a bunch of these Sapati RPO. Uh, I've got four of them on for the left town uh, with these Desant Eaglers in the Skrezets. Uh, the Skrezets have the ZU-232. I've also got that followed up by a Desan Niki with the BMD-1 and the Puma Lechiki and the Deus Desan Niki in the BMD. Which I think have... yeah, there's another B BMD-1. So uh, that is my left-hand side. Uh, I also brought up a gas truck with the fine men on the back. So that's really cool. Uh, on the right-hand side, similar setup, just like the Sapati RPO. Uh, with the AT guns, with the Eaglers in the Skredzets and so on, just to secure this town. So uh, I'm going to be yeah, pushing for this early on. And because these are all airborne units, they can forward deploy further than recon, just a reminder that that is the case. And that's how I'm so far up and I'm already into the center town area. But I'm going to be trying to move into this town just as quick. But he's going to be using his own Bauschemjäger to get here as well and I'm going to have to deal with those early on. So the gas with the ZU actually starts doing quite a bit of damage here onto the infantry and helps pin them down. We've got the Desan Niki with the BMDs coming up as well. It's really cool how you can have these like BMDs uh, move and forward deploy. Uh, unfortunately for me, Faustimega do have the Panzerfaust III, which has a serious amount of penetration, so BMD is really not going to last too well. But nice clean kill from the AT gun onto the Eltis, managed to ambush that on the road. And that's exactly what you want to see out of those AT guns. So 85 there, also trying to get some shots off. Did manage to pop a couple of vehicles here, I believe, but not before anything unloaded. Uh, so Desantis are pretty trying to do the job. Uh, the Fauschmäger though, really just ruining my day. With the G3s uh, and the uh, Fauschmäger Aufklara with the Fauschmäger there, or the normal Jägers, uh, I'm getting absolutely decimated. Bombing Strike does come in and does a, a decent chunk of damage as well. And currently I'm left with just the Desant Niki, the two Desant RPO on this left-hand side. And ultimately what ended up happening here was he didn't really deploy much into this area. Uh, he deployed most of his stuff into here and I kind of split my forces. So yeah, I ended up on kind of like with the short stick getting outnumbered on one side pretty early on. Also the Leopard 1A5, really, really strong at the moment at close range, does have the MG and that MG3 is super good at killing infantry and also the main gun is great for killing my BMD-1s. So the BMD-1s really didn't do anything. I should have probably kept my BMD-1s at range so that they could engage with their machine gun at range and also then put down some HE shells. But my entire force in the left-hand side gets wiped out. The Desant RPOs just didn't really perform as well as I hoped they would. Uh, the RPO weapon system at the moment just isn't that good. And they need to be like in the right position in order to fire. So if you get them too close, they won't fire and if they're too far away they won't fire so you've got to kind of like get that sweet spot when they have the range without being blocked by line of sight and it's kind of a bit difficult to position sometimes because otherwise like in this position on the edge of the town they're going to engage with their AKS and their RPK at range but not actually be able to use their RPO so yeah you need to be a bit careful but the 85 mil here going to be engaging with some HE shells onto the Fauschmjäger, and then we're going to be pushing that back into cover. I was moving these to the right-hand side, just cover this right road for the time being, but now I'm trying to work out a way back in here. So I brought up a recon unit, I brought up an MI8, got my BMD-1s from the right-hand side, moved to the left to support as well. Got some Pula Machiki, got the Conkers. I'm just going to try and set up for a pushback into Anna. Did manage to get 
a leader into the place on the left here. See these GR the G91, sorry, coming in, getting shot down by the Screzettes and the Iglers. So that was pretty good. And we managed to dodge the bombs there, so I wasn't too unhappy with that. But the Desants again moving into the wrong building, not really doing much against these Fauschenjäger. And me one on the left hand side there, yeah, the Desants do get taken out by Protoss pushing with his infantry. So PMD is going to try and get into position so they can use their machine guns against the Fauschenjäger. Also got the Desant Pulamachiki coming in. Be able to engage with its machine guns at range. But the Leopard 105 is able to just move up. Just going to be one pop in those BMD-1s, which wasn't ideal. This wasn't really getting any value out of them whatsoever. I was getting a little bit of value here onto the Fauschenjäger. Uh, but on the left-hand side, just trying to sneak up with this AT gun. The idea was just to maybe shoot at stuff on this road. But I'm not even sure if that had like decent optics. So <laughs> probably wouldn't spot anything anyway. I do manage to get a leader into the right-hand side, cancel out the points. I did, however, give Protoss 600 points before doing that, so not ideal. Managed to finish off one of the Fauschimiga, which is good, because you don't want them to fall back and replenish, so that was the plan there. Meanwhile here, the Pulamachiki going to get their triple PKM on target of the Fauschimigas. So, at this range, they're not too bad in terms of an engagement. I do feel like when a unit's in cover compared to a unit not in cover, there should be a bit more of a disparity in those engagements. Like this Pulamachiki should really wreck that Fashimega because it's out in the open. But they didn't really take much damage at all. Uh, the 85mm AT gun on the left finally gets killed off and I now have brought in an Akula. So I needed something that could kill these Leopard 105s reliably. But Tornado going to really just <laughs> spoil my day. And well, I'm going to reply with a MiG and <laughs> it fires two missiles and hits both. Tornado F3 goes down. These MiG 29s are actually really reliable. I actually like them a lot because they have really good accuracy uh, on their uh, missiles. <laughs> Sorry, I showed the leopard there. Um, but yeah, it's like 60%, I think by default. So Pula Machiki is still trying to kill off that Fauschimiga unit. Just having no luck with my infantry whatsoever. And not really able to build up too much on this left hand side. So I've decided to bring up a T-80. We got the Vasilek on the way because I wanted to try this out. And we got the Conkers moving up. Squares it. Going to be finish off another Fauschimiga. These units were actually really good. Like the ZU-23-2 plus the machine gun seemed to rip through infantry really, really nicely. Can't do anything against the Leopard 2A3 though. So there we go. 85mm uh, trying to get in position to get a side shot onto this 2A3. And we do manage to do so. It takes it down to half health, which was a pretty nice shot from an 85mm. It's only got 13 AP. I also managed to turret stuck it. The Jaeger Alpha Clan are now pushing forwards. Do manage to get them stunned, which is good. Well, I'm a cheeky there with the triple PKM, I'm certainly helping out a lot with that. And that's one thing that these do really well, these Pull Machiki, is they, they can pin at a distance and uh, deal a little bit of damage there. So artillery getting into position here. I've also got the Conkers further back. I've got the TATBV that's going to be trying to creep up the left-hand side to get the flank onto the Leopard 105s. And I've also got a couple of Desant Sapli that are going to be trying to move up here as well, just to deal with any infantry that I end up bumping into. And uh, meanwhile on the right, the AT guns <laughs> are trying to hold their position against the Panzergrens, but we're having trouble getting, like, on target, pretty much. And, well... I don't know how they killed that so fast, but the I think the scimitar just like popped it <laughs> somehow. I don't know. Like it went from like five to no health in like two seconds, so wasn't quite sure what happened there. Um anyway, that's our Nikki with the BMDs uh those infantry just chilling there waiting for the scimitars to get too close, but my Screzet's gonna get popped in the meantime. I'm pretty blind on this right hand side, I don't have like any recon on this side. I do have recon here, but I don't have any recon here. 
for these scimitars. I can't really see them very well. Anyway, I start using the Vesselec, and then I realize this thing's actually pretty good. Like, against static targets, it can chip pretty well, because it fires, like, volleys of four. Now, the damage is pretty low, so even sometimes, even if it lands all four shots, it doesn't do damage, but in the end, Protoss, they're going to notice that I'm doing that and end up falling them back. Uh, Descent RPOs are going to be engaging the Jaegers here. I probably shouldn't have moved these forwards because they would be a bit too close to get the shots off, but the Jaegers there are pretty hard for me to deal with. I get two RPO shots onto that Panzergren, only does one damage. And this was like the issue that I was generally having in this game was his infantry was just outclassing me completely. Um, a Sepedi RPO, these napalm launchers are supposed to do like reasonable damage against enemy infantry. The other thing that I don't have is any satchel charges in this division. So if he gets into close range engagements, there's no way for me to really like kick him out. Um, and Jaegers and like Falsham Jaegers are just straight up better than these squads because of the AKS and the RPK just not really performing that well. Anyway, since the Vasilek performed pretty well, I decided to bring up more of them so that I could then try and uh, you know, delete any squads basically that I ended up coming up against. So TATB and the Desant still pushing up on this left hand side to try and get positioned onto Anna uh, so that I can push in there eventually with some reinforcements. Meanwhile though, Trying to hold back on the left, and the Jaeger Alfklad are going to be making a move forwards. Uh, Desan Eagle are going to be trying to get out of there, but the de other Desans are going to be trying to move back forwards. These, however, do not have any RPO shots left, and Protoss is going to start opening up with his mortars. And the mortars that he's using, the second Panzergren, now gets 15 point ground mortars. Now, I assume this is going to probably change uh, in the future, so do bear that in mind. This is, of course, still an early access build. Uh, but it was rather obnoxious, I'll admit. <laughs> There's a lot of mortar fire coming down. My squads are already, like, relatively low health as it is. You know, they, for example, the Spurdy RPO is a maximum of five men. So when these mortars hit, they chip the squads with, like, one or two men. And you end up at a worse disadvantage as you were already at. I've got a couple of Spetsnaz here. They're going to be unloading in their MI2s to reinforce the town. Spetsnaz are a bit better, they do have better weapons, they've got the AKSU and the RPK for the close range engagement, and they also have the RPG-29 which will come in handy against the scimitars for example. Yeah, that's a lot of mortars, he's got, what is that, like eight mortars or seven mortars? They're all in the same position admittedly, so I probably should have tried to bomb them, uh, but I wasn't really sure if there was much AA. I actually brought up this MiG 25 BM just to see if I could find them. He's going to be bringing up a Tornado IDS with the bombs to try and catch that. But I'm going to bring up the MiG 29. And we're going to be able to shoot that down. So, nice little kill there for me. The enemy AA does hit us. But I'm going to be able to get out of there. So supply truck does end up going down. That was kind of my bad. I should have probably put it in a better position. And now the Spetsnaz trying to get close to the Jaegers here, but stunned in the process. The thing is with the Spetsnaz, yes, this gun's good, like the AKSU, but you do need to be within 460 meter range, which is obviously not ideal here. You can see my uh, Spetsnaz engaging at range against the Jaegers that can use them, both of their G3A3s and the MG3 and on this right hand side well Leopard 2A5 getting the better of my TATB with the help of the Scorpions. I do manage to kill the Leopard 1A5 but another Leopard 1A1 coming in and well the TATBB goes down just gets completely outnumbered by these really cost efficient tanks. A modifier still coming down pretty hard on the town. Spetsnaz do manage to pop the Leopard 1A1 at least or at least one of them. I was really hoping that I'd be able to like jump it out and then jump it back in to get another shot off, but Spetsnaz do end up getting stunned, so that wasn't ideal. Random mortar shower kills off the Higler. And yeah, these guys are just getting absolutely pummeled.
Uh, meanwhile, on the left, I am using the Desarts to push forwards here. And I've also got a new leader coming up to help there on the left hand side. But currently, I'm losing to a plus six. Spurdy up yo. Do manage to really do a good job actually this time around because these guys weren't in buildings, so able to get all of the shots off and do plenty of damage. But now completely out of ammo. I should have brought up supply to support them. I'm gonna try and push into this town. Now at close range, the Fashimega can be doing a lot of damage. They do have the 21 penetration, so do have to be careful here, but kinda hard for me to I guess pull back so I've got to try and rely on like stunning like, if they jumped into that building at any point they would have fired the AT it's just I think Prodos was busy maybe pushing over here or something and didn't do that so one of the T-80BVs or Bs does go down anyway the Desants can't really do anything when they don't have uh, any ammo so whenever you bring them in do make sure to uh, use ammo with them uh, Vesalex in the meantime going to try and take out this Marder and you can see just how quickly they fire. They aim really fast as well. Again, really good against uh, static targets. But they're actually not that good against um, like moving targets. So here I was kind of trying to like guess where he was going. And then like preemptively fire. But he was always going the opposite direction to where I <laughs> was going to fire. Meanwhile on the right, trying to get the MI8 around the right hand side here. Just to pop some of this armor. And then I can actually push back in with the BMD-2s, or at least that was the plan. But I'm definitely running out of time right now. And yeah, this is the weakness, I guess, of the Vasilek, is that it doesn't have, like, the, the spread. So even though I'm, you know, targeting these, he can just keep house hopping. And yeah, that'll be it. Now this Akula... Does get a 1A1 on the right hand side, also managed to take out the Scorpion. I'm going to start moving it back as I wait for the BMDs to come in. But yeah, being completely pushed out of these two sectors now. Don't really have much of a chance getting back in. And again, the plus six is still ticking, so having a real hard time. I think these like BMD twos could be like decent. Oh, the tornado again, gonna kill my other Akula. So these only cost two hundred forty points. My Akula cost two hundred ninety-five. So <laughs> not good trade for me at all, <laughs> especially if I don't shoot down the tornado. Uh, but yeah, I think pushing into a town like the BMD twos could probably support relatively well at range, particularly if you like use conquers to deal with enemy armor and maybe the TATBs to, to uh, sort of back you up with maybe some more AA, like proper combined arms push, but I feel like as soon as you get close range, this division's actually nowhere near as good as you would have thought it would be, since it's like a air assault division. Like all of this infantry is just not that good. Like, compared to like Jaegers, for example, at range, the Infantry is just like way worse because the G3 is just much better than the uh, AKS-74. Uh, uh, the AKSU at close range is, is relatively okay. But again, you, you end up dealing with the issue of like just being satcheled when you don't have satchels and your close range infantry just not doing what it's supposed to in terms of like the RPO just not really performing that well at the moment. Now this Spesnaz Gru squad is cool though, it does have the ASV and the VSS but with the amount of infantry that he has left and is pushing towards me there is nothing I can do and I've completely run out of time. But there we go. Now all these Vasilex, I maybe bought too many of them <laughs> they didn't really end up performing the way that I wanted to. Against this infantry though, the BMD-2s I think would have done some damage and helped me push back into the town, but it was just too late. Uh, Protoss doing a great job there. 3,530 kills to 1,915 losses. So I didn't really get to show off like as much as I wanted to about this division. There is a lot of stuff in the artillery tab that's actually kind of cool. So uh, I will come back to this division and show you guys another gameplay at some point. Um, and we'll try and make it work. I, I don't think maybe I had the right idea with the deck or maybe I didn't build the deck properly uh, or in the way that I should have. I'm not sure. Um, there's a lot of factors in these games 
uh, like the K50 Akulas getting like one tapped by the uh, the helicopter or by the aircraft, like that's not obviously ideal. Um, so maybe I should have had like AA up to stop that, or maybe waited until I shot down the enemy aircraft before I used the Akulas so that they could have more like dominance on the field. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things that could have changed. Uh, the 85 mil just wasn't that strong. Uh, I thought it would do better. And I think against divisions that don't also have airborne units, this will definitely do better. But in this case, like a lot of his stuff was already unloaded before uh, these fired. And um, therefore I was just taking out empty transports and they didn't really pay themselves off early on, uh, which would have been nice. But alas, uh, yeah, the 85 mil AT gun, probably not the best shout. Yeah, I think this uh, deck just needs a little bit of optimization, honestly, but well played uh, by Protoss, uh, getting his own back against me for the uh, first game that we played against each other. So yeah, good game to him. That is it for now, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at uh, the uh, 35th Air Assault Brigade. I'll definitely come back with more gameplay of this division so you guys can uh, see a few more of their new units. But that's it for now. Yeah, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.